back on Good Morning Football. Michael Fabiano is here. You didn't get the memo about the Canadian tuxedo. Well, I know. <laughs> or the mustaches, by it's the way. It's all Aaron Rodgers up Sorry to Canada tonight. Yeah, there we go. There you go. A lot of people are It's going to be a little big on there. Sure. He's on saying denim. Scary. These are absolutely yeah. denim. Oh, they, I can vouch for that. Yeah, oh, take man. that. I wonder if they're wearing is Aaron Rodgers' outfits on Total Access. I can only hope. Well, I can only oh, hope. Please. Yeah. That looks good. I used to have one of these back in the day, and it had like a skid row patch on the back. <laughs> Neat. Roll it! Metal! Hey there, good morning, football crew. Now, I know y'all woke up early, but you got to stay up late for NFL Total Access. I'm Scott Hansen, coming up on a special time, 11 o'clock Eastern NFL Total Access. Six games on a day of defining drama for the future of Daniel Jones and Dwayne Haskins, for the future of the shoulder of Cam Newton, the new head coach of Aaron Rodgers, the return of Carson Wentz, the encore of Lamar Jackson, and the new look offense for the GOAT. Highlights and headlines from all of today's games and a complete preview of Friday night's action on NFL Network. Browns and Buccaneers Friday night. Join us tonight, 11 o'clock Eastern, for Total Access. Thank you, Scott. These numbers are getting low, guys. Love it. 14 days to kick off, and 14 is a special number. I think of the legend, Hall of Famer, Dick Night Train Lane. Nice. This gentleman had 14 interceptions in 1952 as a rookie for the Los Angeles Rams. 14, guys. It's, it's an absurd stat line for a great player with a great nickname. How about this score? This is trumpets and saxophones. The Sam Spence Orchestra. This is a beautiful time to be alive. So... 14 in one season, okay? I think they played like six career. games. That can't be true. All right, so That's we were thinking, in honor of Dick Knight's Rain Lane's 14 picks, what is our favorite interception? Not necessarily Malcolm Ooh. Butler on the goal line or, or with James Harrison in the Super Bowl. For me, guys, let's go back to 2007. Antonio Cromartie, then a San Diego Charger, makes a ridiculous catch off Peyton Man. Get it, Tom! Oh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> guys, he had three picks in this game. Well, that's just Peyton silly. threw six. And listen, for my money, this is a better catch than Odell's catch. Whoa, it is a off. better catch than Odell's Why? catch. Why? Because Odell was the intended receiver. Antonio's playing defense. And here's the thing. Antonio came on our show years ago and talked about the impact of this catch and how it might have been different for him. Take it away, Crow. See, this is, this is what everybody felt understand. That was 2007. Uh-huh. This was what, 2000? A couple years ago, 2014. Yeah, yeah, yeah 14. I was 14. So you got to think, social media was, it's very big right now. It's That's not true. as big as it was then when we was playing. You would have been in the league. In the league, it was crazy, though. I mean, in the circle of in us. In the circle, yeah. We knew. We knew it was crazy. <laughs> but honestly, though, you saw Odell's catch, and in your mind, you had to be like, I did that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's still the greatest one I have ever seen. Don't ever forget it. Look at the side-by-side. -side. Crow's incredible. And again, on defense, off Peyton Manning. But Michael Fabio, when we look to you, do you have a favorite interception of all time? See, I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan. I'm a homer. The interception that should have been my favorite, Everson Walls picking off Joe Montana. Uh, but, no catch. Uh, but. Okay, but. It was. Super Bowl 30, fourth quarter. It's not a superior interception because Neil O'Donnell threw it to him. We still don't know but what he was this doing. pick led to an Emmitt Smith touchdown that sealed the deal for the Cowboys to beat the Steelers for the first time in a Super Bowl. And the Cowboys, well, I haven't been to a Super Bowl since, but I remember that pick. Larry got paid, Maybe though. this is yeah. for you. Raiders. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe Tony Express will take well, you there. No, Ze Zeke. Come yeah, on. Zeke. Come Fabiano, on. it's, it's so great that you joined us. What do you got going on in your life now? You're going to go on a tour? You're yeah, gonna, tell so, us about it. so next week we do the Alice in Chains tour. It's going to be on Thursday. And basically we have a draft, and then I'm going on tour with the band. Nice. <laughs> and I'm going to give you guys all access ah. to everything. So this was last year's the draft. Jeff Garland, the Bella Twins are there, Jerry Cantrell. Eric Dickerson is in there as well. Mike Inez. Look at Duff. Look Duff at Duff McGagan, a legend. They that's also awesome. have an auction. That's You're the only one wearing khaki shorts. On Monday. <laughs> And you could go to ebay.com slash Allison Chains or right. AllisonChains.com. They're auctioning off awesome stuff. WWE belts that are signed by WWE what? superstars. Jerry Cantrell's giving a guitar lesson. Oh. You've got meet and greets with corn, hey. with tones, <laughs> with anthrax. Check it out, and it all goes to a great I was cause. Say, what's the cause? Yeah, Incredible. St. Jude's. St. Jude's. Yeah, Rich Eisen won the league last year, so St. Jude's is going to be the yeah, Rich. You're great. We're going to talk to you a Job, little bit later. You'll be on Total Access all over the network. We'd like to wish you a great day. Enjoy Giants and Bears. All eyes on Daniel Jones. Take a look.